Hi, how are you doing today? Doing good, how are you? I'm doing okay. So today we are going to learn saxophone. Oh yeah, I've yeah. always wanted to. You're gonna learn saxophone. So when you're learning saxophone, uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna learn is how to put the instrument together, obviously. Makes sense. So when you open up the saxophone, you have a couple of things. So you have a neck strap, mm -hmm. you have the reed, uh, you have the neck, the mouthpiece, and uh, the body of the saxophone, like okay. the main instrument. So when you want to put it together, mm -hmm. you always want to put the neck strap on first. So always put the neck strap on first. This is what uh, you always start with. Mm -hmm. Then you take uh, your body and you grab it by the bell. Okay. You lift it up. Uh, you lift it up by the bell. Why not anywhere else? The bell is the most uh, stable and durable part of the instrument. Okay. Uh, so you uh, you lift up by the bell and immediately you attach it to the neck, so it just remains stable. So you don't way. drop it. So we don't drop it. Yeah, that's a bad thing. Um, so uh, from there, uh, you take your neck mm -hmm. and you put your neck, uh, you know where it goes in this little slot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to tighten the screw to, to make it easier to uh, flop in. Come on, flop in. So that's in there. Um, tighten this back. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I missed a step. Uh, so oh, did I, you? <laughs> yeah, ideally you would want to put the reed in your mouth. Uh, you, uh, Right as you put the neck on, you want to put the reed in your mouth. Just kind of like soak the reed. Okay. Uh, you want you want to play on a on a wet reed. You can play on a dry, but it's better when it's wet. Does it make it more sharp or flat whenever it's dry? I think it makes it more sharp, uh, but the like the, the noise that comes out of the saxophone is the reed vibrating, and it vibrates easier oh, whenever when it's it is. Wet. When it's wet. Okay. All right. So you take your mouthpiece. Uh, these steps can be done. A little interchangeably, but the way that I always teach students to do it is, you take a read out of the out of a little uh, case right there, mm -hmm. and from here, you would. Well, actually, let's attach the mouthpiece first. Uh, so you attach the mouthpiece mm -hmm. to where it goes right there. You just gotta reel it on. Yeah, it can take a, it can take a little bit of time to like get the mouthpiece on there. Uh, but when it is on there, you take a reed mm -hmm. and you slide the butt. You slide the butt of the reed. This is the this is the butt. Um, slide the butt of the reed uh, down there in the slot, and you tighten these little things right here. Okay. You kind of want your reed like somewhere right right here mm -hmm. uh, when you're when you're doing that. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit further down, but somewhere around here is like where you would want the reed. Okay. And when you're playing it, you like you want the you want the uh, you, you want the instrument to be adjusted to a way that whenever you're holding up right, it goes right to your mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. You think you can do it yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna take this apart and have you do it on your own. Okay. I just gotta take a little bit of time. It's alright, take your time. You're doing great. Alright, and a read. Okay. <laughs> oh, alright, so there's a read. The saxophone is, uh, you know, it's a pretty young instrument. Mm -hmm. It was uh, developed in the uh, 1840s, actually. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh, I thought it was sooner than that. Fascinating. Yeah, very, it, was in the, uh, it was in the 1840s. And uh, you know the guy who uh, invented saxophone? His name was uh, Adolf Sax. Such a fitting name. So, here you go. I'll have you put, put it together yourself. Okay, okay. If I can get it over with.
You want me to go ahead and soak the reed, right? Yep. So go ahead and uh, put the reed, uh, put the uh, the thin end of the reed in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Just kind of soak it. Ooh, it tastes bad. <laughs> Good job. Very right, cool. Yeah, it, it takes, a, takes a little bit of time to get the neck in there. So just put the uh, the reed in there. Okay, so I'm this up a little bit. Um. Not like that, right? Yes. Okay, so there. Tighten it back up. And there we go. That's the look. Looks really good. So. To make a noise on it, well, okay. uh, put it in like in plain position. Ooh, you on. might have to loosen the neck strap a little. Yeah, bit a little bit. Oh, there. Yeah, and you're gonna want to be in uh, like this, type, like maybe like this type of posture, and to where like if you lift it up, it should go directly to your mouth. Now you might want to have, might want to, might want to, have to tighten it. Might we want to tighten. love overcompensating. Let's go. <laughs> not too much, not too much. There we go. that better? Uh, how does it feel? Much better. I think it can be a little bit tighter. Yeah, a little. I want to actually squish the keys. It is not a very good neck strap, but... We love struggling with straps. <laughs> it's not a very good neck strap, but uh, it does the job. Yeah, it's all right, as long as it does its job. There we go. Much better. Mm, there we go. All right. Supposed to kiss it. <laughs> kiss it. Uh, but uh, go ahead and uh, take, the, take the neck out of the instrument. You don't want to unscrew it. Yeah, let's unscrew it a little bit. Get it in, Mom. Come on. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Bestie's not coming out. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> so to make a noise on the instrument, uh, you, do you know how to whistle? Yeah, well, it's you, been a while. Well, do you know the face that you make whenever you are whistling? You know, with the corners that are go, kind of going in, like everything's just kind of like going like into the mouthpiece. Uh, so you do put your 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 teeth, like you said your uh, you said your teeth and your lip, uh, and your top lip on top of the mouthpiece like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and your bottom lip, it kind of curves inward. So you kind of make like that kind of face, and uh. And then you just you just kind of blow. So set your your, your top your top teeth on top of the mouthpiece. Uh, you're gonna want more mouthpiece in your in your mouth a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you got your, you got your top teeth on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, push it up. Push it. 
Yes. Hey. Put your uh, put your corners in a little bit more and see if you can uh, blow again. There you go. There you go. Hey. Now, uh, try doing that a couple of times. Ooh, hold on. So put the neck back in. Gently. Careful, careful. Careful, careful. Careful. Oh, dear. Oh. It's giving me. Oh, there we go. It was giving me issues. Now it's not giving me issues. All right. So try to make a uh, sound on the instrument. Okay, let's do this. Let's. Oh, make sure the neck is like kind of like in line with the uh, the bell. Mm. And. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, so with that same moment. Chat yeah. <laughs> it a couple times. Up down there also. Okay. You want you want it to be a little bit more a little bit more relaxed. Then how does that feel? It feels weird. I like the vibrations on the bottom lip. It feels yeah. Feels weird. <laughs> Again, you're gonna want to like get your corners a little bit more inward, but it, it should feel very relaxed making the sound on it. Place it here okay. with, with your left hand, and your first, uh, your fingers uh, should go. At least if you feel down here, they should be like some like uh, places that your fingers go. About right here. Uh, so your first finger, put it on the. Uh, your first finger, put right here. Okay. Your second finger, put right here. Mm -hmm. And your third finger, put right there. And your pinky just kind of like hangs right here. Okay. On the on this little spatula. Uh, your left hand, your right hand, I should say. <laughs> uh, yeah, one, two, three, and your pinky just hangs on that spatula right there. And the thumb just hangs right here. So your thumb goes underneath that little thumb rest. Oh, ooh, that feels weird. Yeah, so how, how, <laughs> does, how does that feel? Uh, since I'm used to flu, this being right here is a bit odd, but right. I don't it, mind. Yeah, there, there's. It's different. It's definitely different. <laughs> uh, but that's where it goes. So try making a sound again. Ooh. Oh, I almost got it. <laughs> I do just that, do, that do that a couple times. Fingering. Let me teach you a song. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if you uh, just put your your uh, point your finger down on your left hand, that is B. Play B. Oh, I know. All right. Yep. That's B. So uh, if if you put this finger down and this finger down, that is A. And uh, all three of these fingers down is G. Oh, you're pressing, you're pressing the octave key. You're getting a step ahead of me. I am. Yeah. So, so where your thumb, uh, where your thumb in your left hand is at, that is the octave key. So, if, so. Oh, my bad. <laughs> so, so if you if you play a G, like a normal like B, like by raising or no, it raises it by. Oh, octave. okay. Yeah, but uh, but we're not gonna get to there probably today. So, did you place like uh, your pointer, your middle, and your ring finger down on all the keys that it's supposed to be? That comes out as G, yeah! <laughs> which is concert B flat, but uh, we're not going to get the transposing today. Okay. 
Uh, but like we have B A N G. So try that one. I don't know what that noise was. I don't know either. But like try that. So try, so try playing. Uh, you know the song uh, "Hot Cross Bugs," right? Mm -hmm. So, so you try, so try "Hot Cross Bugs" a little bit. I'll help you out. So we have "Hot Cross Bugs." Yeah, you were able to play a song. Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> Awesome. So, um, to talk about a little bit about articulating, so if you go a little bit uh, back, just a little bit back from the tip of the tongue, uh, you are actually uh, touching the reed with, mm -hmm. with, uh, with not the tip of the tongue, but a little bit further back of there. So it should be like kind of like that. So try how corresponds again with that articulation in mind. <laughs> Does that feel comfortable? Oh yeah, it feels comfortable. I'm just not used to the read yet. <laughs> right, it, it, the read takes a little bit of time to get used to. Uh, da, 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 da. So let's go on and teach more fingerings. Yay! Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, so with all three of these fingers down and this in your pointer finger and your right hand down, that comes out as F. Uh, 
not too hard. All right. Uh, this is Twinkle Twinkle. Um, we're not going to go, we're probably not going to go through the entire thing. Okay. But um, let's just see where you're at with your technique. Okay. So this is G. So G is fingered with these three, these three fingers down. Yeah. yeah, so we have, just play me the first couple measures right there. G is gonna be all, all three of these fingers down. Ooh, no. Duh. Ooh, you better hush. <laughs> Just the reed. Uh, there's a lot of reed that's kind of sticking out right there. So uh, just low, just lower it down a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, dear, I don't want to snap it by mistake. About that much? A little bit more. No, no, no. no. Uh, come up a little bit. Uh, there. That's fine.
Okay, there we go. Let's try that. These are We're just going to work through the uh, the first uh, four measures of Twinkle Twinkle. So, uh, one, two, three, down. Find that sweet spot in that G. That's not it. <laughs> Starting on C. Thank you. 